Hey guys, this is Zed for Mission Impossible. Welcome back to my Atari programming series. Today is episode 10. We're going to be modifying the display list so we can handle scrolling. So let's get into it. Let's look at the setup screen uh, function or procedure that we have here with our display list. So first of all, let's change this to, to canvas because we changed it from, you know, we changed, renamed it. Great. Now, in order to do this, um, in, in order to do scrolling, <clears throat> we have to do a couple of things. And it's all gonna be changing this uh, display list. So in order to do vertical scrolling, what we, what we wanna do is we wanna be changing this value right here, okay? So that it, it's got a, basically we've got our canvas location and if we're going to do a vertical scrolling, what it's going to want to do is it's going to move that location down in the canvas or up in the canvas and depending on the direction that we want to go. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to be adding a certain amount of, uh, you know, there's a byte offset that we need to do per line. Okay. And uh, so we'll get into what we're going to need to, to do to do that. But before we can do that, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set it up for horizontal scrolling, because we're gonna need to do something similar in that we're gonna have to modify every line of our display list so that we can shift um, everything left or right as well. So we're gonna have to be doing a lot of, of byte shifting every time we wanna scroll. Now, keep in mind, it's not having to redraw anything. All it's doing is changing the offsets of where the display list is looking at the screen or where what it where its viewport is in the canvas okay so let me uh let me go ahead and change this uh and uh show you what i'm talking about okay so we're going to start off with our blank eight you know the first three lines uh we talked about the first 24 lines i guess and so instead of actually this canvas, uh, I'm gonna do something a little different. And that is we need to know, and that there's a there's a nice way to do this, um, but for now, I'm gonna just put hard-coded values in. Um, we are currently, our canvas is sitting at 6,000, okay? Um, and so what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna say, uh, sorry, in the display list, we're gonna wanna say, we're gonna go to zero, zero, comma 6,000, or 60 rather, okay? So this is the low byte of the, uh, the location for this line, and then there's the high byte for that location. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna do this for every line. Now, we're gonna need to do an offset for this and based on how many characters we have, you know, we know it's going to be 64 wide, but actually on the screen, it's going to be 128 wide because of the, the tile width, right? So that actually comes out to be 80 hex, all right? And so what we're going to want to do is every other line here, it's going to, it's going to change, or every line it's going to change so that we're going to say, okay, so it's 0, 80, now we're going to need to go to 61, 61. And so we got to do this for every line. Uh, it's not too bad. Once we get it set up, we're not going to have to mess with it too much. So this eight, 0, 80, 0, 80, that, that's all good. And then we'll say 2, 2, 3, 3. And now we need to go, um, and we need to keep going up here since we have, uh, you know, notice we also have this LMS on every line. Um, you know, the load memory scan that so be able to say for every line, we have to have this, this uh, thing in here to be able to say what the location is. Normally you only have to tell it where the entire screen starts, but because of this, we have to tell it for every line. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit more involved, but not too bad. Um, okay. So we have how many lines we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 lines. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this in here and just modify these. Okay. Uh, oops. 64, 65, 
66, 66, and 67, 67. Okay. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, so that should be it. Okay. So let's remove those. And we don't need these. And that is our new display list. Okay. So we're going to say that it's going to start off at 6,000 and go up to 6580 or 6600 or yeah. Um, so that's going to be our screen or our canvas, I should say. Our actually, that is going to be our viewport into the canvas. Okay. So let's, uh, let's try it out. See what happens. Um, let's see we can okay so we have something on the screen <laughs> it's not what we want uh i believe i have gotten off by one or something here um so let's see what happened so we can look at the list file this thing is very very handy to be able to see where everything is at in our program and the uh what it has turned into as far as the the data Okay, so we have 3000 to 40 B4. That's a problem. That means we've overwritten our character set a little bit. That's that's not what we want to be doing. See, because it should be saying 3000 to uh, uh, 4000, or that should be showing 3 FFF to go to the max. Okay. FC0. Okay. Uh, where did I screw up? FC zero. Oh, I see what happened. So and it really depends on where we're loading this stuff in because we said include the map and we put our code in at 4,000. That's a problem. Okay. So this really has to do with where these files are included. So I'm going to move these to the bottom. And that means that this is all our code. And we want to make sure that that stays within this location here. So let's go ahead and compile this. But before running it, I want to take a look at it again. Okay. Make sure that we're all within the bounds that we we specified here. Um, so we have our code starting at 2000. Okay. Tw uh, 2000 to 2103 is this section. Okay. So now we go down. This is all of our code. Good. So this is the column that I'm looking at right here. And so these don't take up any space, the display list. Okay. So 2103. Now we're into graphics. Okay. Now the character set is sitting at 4000. Um, now what we might want to do is we want to, might want to order these a little different because we have our map before then. So let's, uh, just for fun, let's, uh, order it in the correct order. It actually doesn't matter, uh, in this particular case. Um, but like in the other depends on where you want to load them in. So let's, let's try it again and take a look. I just, for my own, uh, personal, uh, OCDness. I want to make sure that it's in the right spot. Okay. So we have our code going up to 2104 basically, and this include map.asm. Uh, so now we have the map loading in at 2104. And then it says, we're going to say org map, which is going to say 3000. So let's see where we have now. Okay. So three, three F C zero. And now we said at 4,000, now we're going to load in the character set, which is the graphics.asm. Probably should rename that. Um, now we have 4,000 used for that. And if you remember, let's scroll down a little bit. This is huge. Um, if you remember, I said that it goes up to 4,400. Uh, let's verify that. 3BFF, there are uh, 4, 3FF, sorry. So it goes up to 4,400. And now we said the PMG data is in this, uh, you know, the, the data in here is at 44. I'm actually thinking I want this to be loaded in as our code as well. Uh, so let's, let's move that PMG data up 
So again, so that it's in uh, the correct place. I could go maybe right here. Um, okay, yes, I'm being pedantic about it, but it's just, I think, a good idea so that when we have problems like this, we can track them down easier. Okay, so we have, let's see, where's my scroll bar? Where did it go? It's hiding from me. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, sometimes VS Code likes to hide this thing on me. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have our map, and then we have our graphics sitting at 4,400. And that's it. Okay. So that is, of all the data that we're loading in, that ends up being only to 4,400. Now we have these other locations that we're using, but we're using them in during runtime. Okay. This player missile or the PMG uh, location. This is during runtime, which we're using one K of that. And then the canvas, this is during runtime as well. Uh, so let's see if it works. There we go. Okay. So we can remove the debugger and then, uh, so we are now able to have our guy on the screen. Now we have it so that we can see our map and uh, we need to be able to scroll. And that's what we're gonna do next. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I post new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to click up here. And if you'd like to see something else, be sure to click up here. As always, see you in the next adventure. Take care.